welcome back to my channel my name is laura and today i'm going over all the planners that i am going to be using and my journals for 2021 i have them all set up i have them all sitting here and i am going to share with you what exactly i'm doing with each one so stay tuned this first one I got on Amazon because I loved purple. And when I received it, I was like, what am I gonna use this for? It's so big. So um, I sat here and I debated on what to use it for. And I decided that I'm using it for my reading. So I, um, I'm gonna leave it on my desk and then I jot down what I'm reading in here. So um, the first page I already wrote in here a little bit of like what reading goals I'm doing and different things like that. So here is the week. Now it's a big calendar and um, I was like, how am I gonna use this? And I decided to just track what I'm reading each day and why I'm reading it and what, um, you know, what book club I'm reading it for and try to keep up on my reading. Um, I also are, am going to try to use this for my YouTube. So every time I do the Friday reads on Fridays, um, I will do the video and what I um, did and update you on how far I got on each book and if I started a new book or that type of thing. So my main goal is to read more in 2021. So I figured this book would be great to keep track of all that. So I am doing Gabby Reads, uh, the book troupe, um, book club, and we are reading The Wife Upstairs. I am doing hashtag 2021 children's book challenge with Bell's Library. And um, I'm also um, doing uh, my own little thing with um, uh, my one little word. I'm going to try to read some books about breathe, which is my word. word. And then um, the third thing that I am trying to add back into my reading is to try to pick up a Kindle book. Uh, I get uh, free Kindle books from Amazon Prime. I never read them. And I also get uh, Book of the Month Club uh, every month. So that's my main goals for 2021 is to read more. So that's my first journal. The second journal is going to be my wallet. I got this from the Buy, Sell, Trade List. It's a Planner Perfect wallet. Um, really enjoyed it. Planner Perfect. Love it. Um, and um, w at first I had my journals in here and that was not working for me. And I decided to put two different, um, not plan and perfect inside here, but I will show, show what's in here. Um, but to on the go, I needed uh, stuff on the go. So I put two um, inserts in here. Uh, the first insert that I have in here is my two, 2021 calendar, and this is where I could jot down um, appointments and stuff like that. So this is a Coco Daisy uh, calendar thing, and I figured while I'm out and about, I could just jot down in here uh, what appointments I need to do. So it's it's totally blank. I only, um, I only did part one, which January and... Um, yeah, so I figured this could be on the go. So that's my first insert. My second insert is going, I started this out as doing a uh, memory plan with doodles and I couldn't keep up in the month of December. So I decided to switch it up and I am now using um, this for memory plan, um, menu planning. So um, yeah, so at first I started to do doodles and I'll show you that here you are. I started doing doodles and what we were doing each day. I was tracking my food and all that. And I just could not keep up. I did that. Then I did this. Uh, and um, for next week, I decided that I'm going to use this for menu planning. So here is my menu planning. I sat down, no do, no pictures or anything. It's gonna be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, my snacks. I'm trying to lose weight again with Weight Watchers and I'm trying to track everything. So I figured this would be a great thing to track. I also put my meal plans up here at the top 
and then um, I also will do like a grocery list on this side. I haven't wrote anything yet, but um, I figured that's what I could do. It's it, every week is a week, so um, I could do that for the whole thing. And then um, I could carry this around and use it for my grocery shopping, which works out great because it's with my wallet and I just on the go. Every once in a while, like I'm in the store and I'm like, what did I need to get? So uh, this would be great to jot down whatever we need. So that's that. So that's what I'm carrying here. So I wasn't going to do this, but of course I was in Michael's and I wound up buying a planner. This is a recollections planner and I am using this for my memory planning. Um, I really enjoyed this doing this in 2017 uh, and I really love the cover because it's books and I am trying to focus on my books this year. So um, yeah, I couldn't resist. It also was, it was half price. So I wound up buying it. It is a vertical planner. Uh, so here is 2021. It has a full calendar and then it has some stickers, which I haven't used yet um, and more stickers. Um, and it also has lots of stickers. Uh, then it has a place to put your own stickers on it. Uh, and then it has a folder and then we go into January. So here's January. I have the calendar. Um, I'm just going to jot down uh, what we did that day. Today is the fourth. So I already wrote things down already. Um, and I decorated with uh, Coco Daisy and um, um, Ali Edwards or... Um, I think it's Allie what Edwards. Uh, I got this this thing. I don't remember where I got the washi tape from, but that is that. And then I did the first week. So here is my first week. And I really love how this came out. Um, I printed up the movies that we watched this week. I printed up some photos that I took and I wrote down what we did. Uh, and I did my, my word and I have some photos. Uh, my reading list is here, um, my meal plan yesterday, uh, so really cool. I'm planning on um, doing this, which I have the punch. So I had, I used to do Happy Planner before, so I do have the punch. So here's the Happy Planner punch, and this is how I cut out my pictures and my, um, my movies. So um, yeah, so this worked out great. So that's what I'm going to be doing in here. Uh, and that's the next, this is this week that I haven't done yet, but I'm going to do it as I go. Um, uh, and then like on Saturday and Sunday, I would fill in the whole page if I fall behind. So, um, yeah, so that's how I'm using this. In here is my, um, Hobonichi Weeks. Uh, I already started writing in it. Um, this is um, going to be more of a commonplace notebook um, and I'm going to share with you what I did so far in here. Um, I have a blank uh, notebook in here. I have a calendar in here that from Coco Daisy. I have not journaled or anything in that. Um, and then here is my weeks and I did start writing in here. So I put my goals in the front uh, and then this is what I'm going to be working on so I already decorated January um, and then when I go to January I use Coco Daisy um, here's January here okay so here's January um, I get the Coco Daisy kits so I already decorated this I'm putting um, quotes that I find on here and then any quotes are in here and then my to-do list I, I'm working on one little word I put a checklist here uh, my workout and my reading so I've been tracking there uh, so this is this week here um, I already wrote in my um, quote for the day it says mindset matters I eat mindfully uh, and then I already wrote in here, I don't have to chase ex extraordinary moments to find happiness. It's right in front of me. If I'm paying attention and practicing gratitude. So that's by Bren Brown. And then here's my tracker on the bottom for t this week. Uh, now, I did not 
fill out um, December in this book. So I went back and I started to put some quotes. Here's some more quotes that I got and I'm decorating. I'm filling up the beginning of the book, December, covering up this December and just adding uh, um, very positive quotes for the new year. So that's how I'm doing this one. Uh, and then here is the same thing. I'm gonna cover this up. This is all December, so um, I'm going to cover that up eventually and fill it in for the month of January as they pop up into my um, world. Uh, so that's how I'm using this book. And then I have another plain notebook in the back and another plain notebook. In the morning when I go on Facebook and I go on um, I belong to Weight Watchers um, Connect. Um, I always get quotes and stuff from there. So um, that's where I'm getting everything to put in this book. So that's that one. This next one is my financial planner and my to-do list and uh, my YouTube watching tracker. So um, I moved it into this uh, new Sugar Plum uh, notebook. It, it is a personal size. So here is what I'm using. I'm using a dollar and cent menu book. This is from 2020. I just moved it over. I have tabs on here. It says pay bills, savings, uh, my kids savings and my credit card. So I'm not going to flip through, uh, each one, but that's what it looks like like this it's like a um, checkbook type thing and that's how i plan i make um i do two pages uh one page for the 15th of the month one page for the 30th of the month and that's how i keep track of my bills so that's that one the second no notebook is an empty notebook that i have not written in it yet uh this is just to jot things down as um working or whatever just you always need a notebook to write in so that's that and here's my everyday 360 and this is where i jot this is the calendar uh and i just decorated with coco daisy stuff and then here is the week i didn't write in it yet but i usually write down what i need to do during the day or what i accomplished for the day and then I check that off and then on the second page I do my YouTube watching and I write down what channels I'm watching what channels are new to me which ones I subscribe to and stuff like that and I try not to go more than this line because then I know that I've been watching YouTube for way too long and I need to do other things around the house so this is how um, I've been keeping track and it, it, it seems to be working I'm using Coco Daisy stickers to uh, jot down uh the numbers so that's how i'm using this book and this sits next to my computer and um this is how i work it and i usually put like a paper clip or something to keep the book open like that so it sits on my desk open like that and then i could just jot down as i'm watching each channel or I can write a note or why I watch the channel and stuff like that. This way, if I need to go back and watch um, the, the show again, um, I can um, reference this book and it works out really well. So that's that one. Okay, so this one is my Hobonichi Techo. Now, um, in the past two years, uh, I have been using it for a photo a day. And here is my um, 2020. It gets really fit, fat. This is an, an AV, AVAC. Um, and the first year, 2019, I used the full book and it got super doubled the size. So I went with the AVAC for uh, 2020. Uh, and what I do in this is where I take a photo a day and then I journal about that photo or what we did that day. So um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do this project again because it is a lot of work to keep up. Uh, but I really like how it um, tells the story of our lives. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe I will continue it. I already got the book. And um, so this is... Um, great to read back on and use all my washi tape. So, um, yeah, so this is a major project. So anyway, so here is my new one. I'm going, there's two books in here that I'm going to take out because I did not use it. Uh, so here is my 2020 financial weekly. Um, it didn't really work for me. So, um, this I am not going to be using. I'm going to be taking it out. 
Uh, so let's take that out out of the string. And I was going to use it for a bills, but I'm using that other thing. So that is coming out. And then I also was using another weekly here, which was my reading. And I'm going to be using my other journal, which I showed you before for my reading. So I'm taking this out. Uh, I didn't really use it. So um, probably like I could rip these pages out and use them for something else. But uh, this wasn't really used. So, uh, so now what I have in here is the new... Uh, Techo uh, 2020 January to June and I haven't even written in it yet so I'm going to move this around my book so there you go I have my photo uh, and I have my bookmark so I'm going to take this out This is my reading and my kids so I'm probably going to use this in something else I made this myself um, but I'm not using it in this book because I am not doing the reading in this book. So let's take that out. Uh, so here's my new Techo 2021. Um, I have not written in it yet. I don't think I did. Uh, so now I found out that people were using this for tracking. So I may use that for tracking something. I don't know what yet. Uh, and when I get to here... Um, I was thinking about doodling in this uh, type thing and then um, doing my photos. I don't think I did the calendar in the front. Originally, I was going to write down what we were doing each day, but I didn't even use the front. But the rest of the book I used. So that... Yeah, I enjoy putting the pictures in and doing it. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start that. I didn't even start it yet, but it's an empty book here. And we'll do that. So that's that. And then this one, I um, didn't finish it. So there's a lot of pages left in here. I'm going to continue using this one. This is my commonplace notebook. Uh, this is where I just jot down whatever I didn't fit in any of my other journals and I just wanted to jot something down in here. So um, I have some pages in here. I think I even drew in here a, a little bit. So here's my little doodles drawing. When I feel like drawing, I feel like writing something down um, just to capture something in here. Um, yeah, occasionally I would write in this thing. Um, book lists and stuff like that so I'm going to continue let's how far I got in here um, I think I have half the book still so I'm going to continue using this and uh, in February um, in February Victoria is doing commonplace notebook so I think I'm probably going to use this uh, to finish up the pages. So I still have a lot more pages to go. Uh, so that's what I'm going to, need to use this for. I don't even use this thing, but I have it. And this is the dashboard that I made of my kids. I had my pen loop on here, and that's my me and my husband uh, just shoved in here as a uh, dashboard. And that's it. So that's this book. And the best thing about this is I have my word for the year already written on here. Uh, it says Just Breathe at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. So that's that notebook. I have one more notebook that I'm going to go show you. Okay, here is my narrow notebook. It is super fat and chunky. This is what I've been doing in here. I have lots of notebooks I th one two three four inserts in here and I'm going to share with you each one and how it's set up so um yeah so this is what I'm going to be using every day it's kind of fat um yeah um and I'm liking the size and I'm replacing something so I'm going to show you what is in here I in December found Planner Perfect so I've been obsessing over her and I've been watching her YouTube channel um, 
so often every i think i went through almost all her videos uh so i'm obsessing over it um i wound up missing the january cutoff to buy the books and um i found it on the buy sell trade list and i bought the january book and I just ordered yesterday, I ordered the February book because I know I'm going to be using it. So I'm going to share with you what I did in here so far. Um, and here we go. So here is my January 21 January book. This is a Planner Perfect notebook. Uh, and I, as I said, I got this off the buy, sell, trade list. This is the monthly um, one that you get. And you get cards uh and washi tape and all that i got that off they give you really cool washi tape it says write a better story uh and then it gets they give you these cards uh and i will show that show that in here i did buy extra cards because i know i'm going to use them uh and uh these will offer the buy sell trade list so um now when i got this book i was like what am i going to use this for uh and I've been trying to wrap my mind around um, the way she does it. Uh, she pre-writes her stuff down and my brain just not does not work that way. And I'm trying to manage it my way. And I'm, this is how I'm going to, I'm going to share with you what I wrote in here so far. And... I noticed that as I was doing this in the last week of December, I noticed that I was rewriting what I wrote in my Fobonichi. So this is going to replace my Fobonichi. Uh, and this is my Fobonichi. You've all seen that. Uh, <laughs> I've been writing in this for six years. Uh, I have a page a day that I write in here, everything I'm doing. And so I need... Uh, when I want to go back and learn something or um, see something that I did, what I ate, whatever, uh, anything, what I watched, uh, everything is in here. So this is how I wrote it in here for, this is like six years of my life, uh, but this is 2020 that you're looking at right now. But I write everything down because I need to remember these things. Uh, so... I am going to do this uh, in my Plan a Perfect book. So, um, yeah, except uh, I do it after the fact. Uh, she says to write it as if you're going to do it. And to me, uh, it doesn't work that way for me because things change. Uh, and I know that, like, today i wanted to walk the dog but maybe i couldn't walk the dog because something happened uh so if i wrote down walk the dog and it didn't happen to me i would like cross it off and uh things like that so um i'm thinking about doing it a different way and i'm going to share the way i'm doing it in this book so here we go um let's start from the beginning it says write a better story and here is my calendar and then i wrote all my appointments down because i need to know where exactly i'm going and what i'm doing like if i have if i have doctor's appointments i need to know these things because um i um if i don't write it down it won't happen so uh so that's what i'm going to do on here and this has all my stuff uh and then on this page is my goals i have two pages of goals um i have my new year's eve what what we did on new year's eve i broke it down what movies i want to watch i'm going to write a list here uh and as i watch them i'm checking them off um here is my reading goals and these are the books that i want to read for the month of january these are my book of the month club books that i bought so i'm going to check them off as i read them uh here is my health uh, and I'm going to check off things as we uh, go through. Uh, I see something that I got to check off here. Um, I'm going to check this off. Okay, so um, here's what I want to do for uh, the month of January. And here are my financial goals, my TV goals, what I'm watching. And then here is my reading. I'm going to like um, uh, color the thing in as i do it i already did my reading so i'm going to color in day four 
Um, so I'm going to use yellow and purple and color in day four. I also did my walk. I did Daisy walked walk the dog today. So that is um, how I'm working this. Okay. So um, then you get to the weekly and this is where I'm going to put down my what I want to do. So this is last week's and I am a to do I need to jot it down. If I don't jot it down, I won't do it. I like to check it off. I'm a lister. Uh, so I can't do the way she's telling us to do it. Um, actually, I did wanted to do my nails yesterday. I did paint my nails. So you can see my nails are painted. I also meal planned. And I also did my laundry. So if I don't write it down, um, yeah. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to write exactly what I want to do. Um, like today I walked the dog. Um, let's see if I could get to the page. Uh, so here is the week here. Uh, see, I wrote down walk Daisy. So I did walk Daisy so I could check that off. We did have a doctor's appointment, which I just did. Uh, and then I started my audio book. So I'm going to write like what I want to do here, uh, and then check it off because that's how it's going to work for me because my brain just does not work the way she wants us to write it. So, okay. So now going to the day on the day, I'm going to do it like my Fobonichi. All right. So here's my Monday of last week. Um, I write down the day, um, the day of the month. So here's my Monday. This matters. I'm going to draw like I normally do. I'm going to write down exactly what I did. I woke up at 7 a.m. I took a shower, took Tori to the dentist. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to write down exactly what I'm doing. And I was actually doing that in my Fobonichi. So I'm going to continue doing it that way. So, um, yeah, it seems to work. Two pages works for me. It's re um, exactly what I was writing in my Fobonichi. I'm writing in here. Uh, so um, I don't need to my, do my Fobonichi anymore. Um, so that's that. So here's my day Tuesday. And I watched a movie that day. Now I had extra room here. After I wrote down everything I did that day. Um, I had extra room. So I put a quote in here. It's not happiness that brings you gratitude. It's gratitude that brings us happiness. Uh, then I put affirmations. I will be pr present in every moment. I do my best every day. I am blessed. I am kind. I am talented. I am thankful. So that is that. Here's my Wednesday. I started watching the mom show. Uh, yeah, I used washi. I just got that washi from the buy, sell, trade list. So, um, yeah. Here's my Thursday. And then this was, we were still in December. So this was goodbye 2020 um yep so here we go and then here's my friday this is new year's day uh, i did some little drawing here I'll pray every day uh, i used my coco daisy um scripture um stickers there um yeah so i'm writing exactly like what i was writing in my fobonichi i'm writing in here um here's my saturday um, Saturday and Sunday only have one page. That's going to be an adjustment for me because I still do a lot of stuff. As you can see, I did a lot of stuff on Saturday. I did a lot of stuff on Sunday. So I filled up the page. Um, so, um, yeah, that's going to be an issue my Saturday and Sunday. But other than that, I think I'm going to be able to use this book as my Fobonichi, which is pretty cool. I already ordered February, so... Um, yeah, so this page will be next week, um, uh, this week that we're on today's Monday, I'm going to write in here what I want to do, what I want to accomplish, uh, and use it as a checklist here and then journal. I already started journaling. As you can see my Monday, I woke up at 10 o'clock. I checked my Facebook. I took Daisy for a walk. Um, I started my audio book, which I'm reading, uh, breath, mama, breath, breathe, breathe, mama, breathe. Uh, and then I had my coffee, listening to my book, but uh, put away all my new rubber stamps and entered them into Airtable and I took a shower. So um, as I do my day, I'm going to journal and fill up these two pages and then we have Tuesday. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it blank until I uh, fill it up like that. So that's how I'm using this book. 
um, I put a um, folder in here. It says write about a story. Uh, and here's my folder. And here's the cards I was talking about. So I'm going to use these as tippins. Uh, so I put the cards in here and you can, they're blank on the back so you could journal on them and use them as tippins. So I stuck all the cards. This is one pack. Focus on whatever is lovely. Uh, yeah. So that's going to go in here. Um, and then, uh, that's the first book. And here's my write a better story. So they give you a calendar one, which is this one. And then they give you a blank journal, which is this one. And how I'm using this one, I'm going to do my journaling prompts in here. So write a better story. And here's my journaling prompts for January. Uh, so I'm not going to use the Coco Daisy one uh, for this book. I'm going to use this journaling prompt in here. And I found another journaling prompt. Uh, do I have it on my desk? Hold on. Okay, so I wasn't gonna, I wasn't sure I was going to fill this second book up. And because um, this is only 31 days, so it's 31 pages. And this book, I think, has 60 pages or so. So I'm adding another journaling prompt. So here's my other journaling prompt that I'm going to be doing. It's 100 Days of Grounding. Uh, this is uh, by uh, Brittany Moses. And it has questions here. Um here are other questions and it says day one and then um i check them off as i do them and put the date uh so here's my journaling prompt so that's what i'm going to be using in this book uh so here is my journaling already i did my goals um my biggest lessons of 2020 was here uh my 10 goals for the 2021 my bad habits that i want to get rid of and of course i'm using my coco daisy stuff in here which is cool uh and then here is my top priorities uh for the day and using my coco daisy stuff and pens and stuff so that's going to uh fill up this whole book i hope so i hope i finish the whole book in uh the month of january because another book is coming in in february so here's my kids these are older pictures i think this was last year's photos uh but i added that in here um, and then here is my word of the day, uh, a word of the year, I'm sorry, uh, 2021, one little word. My word is breathe. And I started the Allie Edwards questions and prompts. So that's when it's going to go in this book. Uh, this book I got from um, Amazon and I covered it up with my own cover. I drew this little horse and I stuck it on the top of the, of the book. So here is my little word uh breathe and i've been journaling in this book about the word breathe and how it is um going with um anything that comes up that i want to record about my word of the year is going in this book and also the ali edwards prompt so here's my one little word here's a photo of me uh on january 1st um and uh, here's my reason why, uh, my definition of breathe, my quote, um, and what I want to invite in my life, what I want to let go. I'm using my Coco Daisy stuff in here. Um, and here is I can enjoy the journey. Um, and that's that. And this was yesterday, a note to myself. Uh, also using Coco Daisy stuff. So that's it for this book so far. Uh, and I have more prompts that I'm going to continue. These are from Allie Edwards. I joined the class. So she gives you these prompts. And then I'm going to do like a prompt a day in this book. So that's that. And I continue writing in this book for the whole year. I don't know if the whole year is going to fit in this year, uh, but I would just use another insert or whatever. So that's that. Then I have this. Um, that's just empty pocket that I could put stuff in. And then I have the Coco Daisy insert uh, that I am using for the Coco Daisy journaling prompts. Uh, and that is this prompt here. I'm using it in this book, I believe. Um, yes. So as I do these prompts, I'm going to put the dot that I did it uh, on the calendar. And yeah, that's what I'm using in here. So here is the prompt so far. Um, yeah, 21 in 2021. Uh, my little word, which is breathe. 
uh, Self Care Sunday reading. Uh, and that is it so far. This next booklet I got from Studio Calico, uh, and I'm using it for my prompts, Me, Myself, and I, for January 2021. And I got these prompts here by from uh, the YouTube channel, My Little Journal. Uh, and this is the prompts. I stuck them in here in the front. Uh, and every day you uh, do something about the prompts. So here's the first page is me. Uh, and the second prompt for day two was your favorite food. I use my magazines to cut it out. And my third day is my fears. And I did some drawing in there. And then I didn't do day four yet, but uh, this is what I'm going to be using this book for. And there's 30 pages in here, and this will be for the whole month of January and fill that up. So that's what I have in this book. I can't wait to fill it up. It is fat and chunky. So um, yeah, so that's how I'm working this. So anyway, I hope I enjoy, hope you enjoyed this and um, I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.